What's going on guys? Today I have a quick video for you guys. Just a small review on something I've been using for about two years now. So when I'm gaming or you know doing anything really, I do have this headset. It's the HyperX Cloud Stinger headset. Uh, you can pick this up for around 40 bucks now on Amazon. At the time it was $50, uh, but I did pick it. Uh, I did pick it up used for about $25 on Amazon. I've had it for two years. The sound quality of this is actually really good. Comes with like memory memory foam cuffs. Um, to mute it, you just simply click it down, click it back up. You can hear a click every time. That's how you mute it and unmute it. So it's relatively simple to mute it whenever you want. I do wish that I would have gotten the wireless one. This kind of is annoying sometimes, but. Honestly, it's probably saved my life a lot more to have a wire just because I don't have to remember to charge my headset or really worry about that crap. Sometimes your headset dies mid-game and that's kind of frustrating. Um, there is an upgraded version of this. I believe it's like $50 more that you can get. It has a wireless feature, a Bluetooth feature as well, and you can just detach this cable. So if it dies on you, you can plug it back in. But overall build, the plastic is pretty shitty. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but it's lasted me two years. Uh, memory foam padding is actually really good. It only has, pretty sure if you can see that, I'm not too sure. Has that weird crease like right here pushed in very oddly just cause I usually have it sitting on this very inexpensive like headphone rest and you see where it creates that little divot. Kinda sucks, but I mean, Aside from that, that's the only issue I really have with it. So I'll actually be switching over from just regular sound quality to what we see on the actual headset themselves. So let's switch over to that. All right, so now we are recording the audio straight from the headset itself. As you can see, um, I got some pretty big ass ears, so if you have some big ears like I do, you have no problem putting on this headset at all. It's actually really comfortable in the ears. It cups my whole ear, so if you got little ears, you're going to be really good with this. Uh, again, guys, it's lasted me two years so far. I don't abuse my headset. I don't throw it around. As you guys saw, I have the stand itself. So once I'm done gaming, throw them back on there. My only complaint is probably not even from the headset itself, but just I wish I had a little bit better of a of a stand. There is better ones that could probably not cause this crease that I mentioned up on, up on top, but as you guys can tell from the video, the sound quality is pretty good. I've never had any complaints uh, from any friends while we're gaming or anything. If anything happens, it's really... But if you want to start talking back to the microphone, just click it up and down. It's pretty simple. It becomes second nature. You're kind of gaming and just... You got to talk again, flick it back down. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this is a really nice headset. feels really good, super comfortable. I can game on this for hours on end. Uh, but I would definitely recommend it to one of you guys. If you guys are interested in picking up a relatively cheap headset, these do compare a lot with the Astro A10s, which are roughly the same price. I believe the Astros are actually $50. And these have now dropped down to $40 as of making this video Today is the 13th of March, 2019. I checked today on Amazon, so $40, $10 off. But again, there is that option on Amazon where you can buy stuff used and you do save a couple more bucks here and there. So I picked these up for $25. You guys could possibly pick them up for the same, but that about wraps it up for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys on the next one.